Let's take a quick look at the purchase node. So what is the purchase node and why have I not seen it? You may be asking yourself. The purchase node allows you to build HypeX transactions into your game, commonly known as monetization, in-app purchases. But the reason you may not have seen this node is that your game needs to reach engagement level 10 before you can use it. So the node itself, super easy to use. There's not a whole lot to it, right? So if we open it up here, we look at it in the details panel. It's only got a few uh, inputs and outputs here, and they're all pretty straightforward. So execute, obviously you need to execute it to make the thing happen. So in this case, we have a user interface that has a button that you can press to initiate this purchase. It shows the HypeX icon, it shows the cost of the item. So just a really simple button, and that goes out to the execute. But when the player presses that button, it doesn't immediately execute that 10 HypeX transaction, right? They get a little pop-up that allows them to confirm, and it will show, again, the price. You can input here whatever you want the price to be, and then the text will come in the pop-up. It'll basically be the description of what the item is. And of course, when you output you want to go to whatever it is to, that is required to give the player whatever it is you're selling them. And then one thing about that that's super critical, because you don't want people to feel like they're getting ripped off when they play your game. If the thing that you are selling them is meant to be permanent, like, for example, a new skin for the player, uh, you need to make sure that you're saving the, the fact that they bought that so that when they come back to your game, they still have it right? Because if you don't save that, they leave the game, they come back, their progress is reset, they have none of their stuff, and you have an angry player, understandably. In this really simple example here, I just set up a number node that we're using to track whether or not that purchase has been made. And then from here, I can send this out to a compare or whatever that is going to say, hey, if this value equals one, they bought this thing, they can access this skin whatever logic you need to do that. Obviously that part of the logic can get a lot more complicated than what we're looking at here, but that is the basic flow and it's super simple. We got three nodes here, we've created a purchase. Obviously in this scenario, the player isn't getting anything, which would be bad, but, <laughs> but uh, it's there. So we press the button, the pop-up comes and it says you're about to buy this example item because we're in play test, it shows the test mode there's the cost, they can either hit the cost and buy it or they can hit cancel and back out. So cancel or purchase. And in this case, it's gonna say example item bought. Obviously, no Hypex has left my account or come back into my account, it's just the test. All right, question, PT Jones. If users manually reset their saved data, would they lose all in-game transactions? Yes. And I would say, let's look at it here quickly. So we go to player save settings. Uh, we have here in the options, can the player reset their save progress? If you're selling stuff in your game, I would turn that off. Don't let them do it. All right, what do we got? A little more than 10 minutes left here.